I brought my daughter for this video. This is going to be hilarious. I've never seen these. She's never seen these. I pulled her away from what uh, she was doing up in her room by herself. So we are going to watch these <laughs> worst top ten worst infomercials. Americans will buy anything. And give you our reactions to what we think about them. Here we go. Decorations take so much time. It's sometimes dangerous and can send your electric bill through the roof. Introducing Door Delights. Decorations like never before. They're the ultimate magnetic holiday decor. Door Delights take only seconds to stick. Door Delights will make you feel proud. Your garage door will draw a crowd. Neighbors will be in awe of your garage decor. Bending over okay. the position. Okay. <laughs> draw a crowd. There's like two people. <laughs> and you know what those remind me of? Like, when you're in elementary school and your teacher puts up like the Santa Claus or whatever like around the room. Like that's supposed to make you feel like, yay, learning! <laughs> Shoes on is a back-breaking chore. One wrong step, you can end up on the floor. And trying to get them off can hurt even more. Well, now they shoe Dini, the world's first shoe horn that lets you get your shoes on and off with ease. Get shoe Dini right this second. Come on, please. It's not just a shoe horn, it's a shoe horn on a stick. Has your toilet ever been. A shoe horn on a stick. First of all, why is that Gilbert Godfrey narrating that? <laughs> But I've never, like, put my shoes on and then, like, broke my back. Or fell on my... I've fallen on my face trying to put my pants on sometimes. <laughs> but not shoes. Like, you can't put your shoes on. Oh, broke his back. <laughs> Back-breaking work, putting your shoes on. You gotta, like, file on a, a social security disability. <laughs> can't put my shoes on. Being bunged up or backed up, tired of lunging and plunging, only to get a face full of you know what. I had Cindy Sullivan here for the no, push I don't know why. <laughs> the powerful plunger that'll easily unblock any toilet, guaranteed. It works like a bellow. Just put it between the seat and the porcelain and give it a push. It clears the clog, gets your flow to go. That's the power of the pushover plunge. So I'm staying at a friend's house and I accidentally clog the toilet. But thank goodness I had my pushover plunge. It was fast and easy, and it saved me the embarrassment. My barbecue nights used to turn into a toilet nightmare. But with the pushover plunge, my toilet troubles are gone. Okay, that last guy is creepy. My toilet troubles are gone. <laughs> She said, you get it all wet and full of, like, stuff. And what do you do, fold it up and stick it back in your purse? I might need this for later. Let me like, I just had a bunch of tacos at Taco Bell. Like, I might clog the toilet up later. It's so, like, what Fred, like, first of all, every bathroom I've ever been in has a plunger next to the toilet. Or, like, if you're in a public <sighs> restroom... There's a plunger somewhere in that bathroom. Whenever I've used that, like, a plunger, I've never had a face full of <laughs> you-know-what. Yeah. Which looks like chocolate milk. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Alrighty. Clap on. Clap on. Clap on. Clap on. Let you turn things on or off from anywhere in the room. Just plug in the clapper and a television, lamp, stereo, almost anything you want to clap on and off. Clap on! Clap off! Clap on! Clap off! The clapper! Okay, I What's remember all? that one from when I was a kid. <laughs> the clap on, clap off. You ever notice you can't buy them in stores? Now, I haven't seen them in store. Have you seen them? Oh. My grandfather was always like a gadget guy, so he went out and he bought... The clapper. I don't know how many he bought, and he was sitting around in his living room, and he's going <laughs> for a couple minutes, and nothing was happening. <laughs> he looked funny. He looked like one of those monkeys. 
<laughs> Eventually, he realized how silly he looked. Yeah, we need to talk about what that dude is doing to that kid's hair. <laughs> yeah, Pop Pop has this thing. He's used it to cut your father's hair one time. What talk about? It's the Floby haircutting system. Tens of thousands have been sold to satisfied customers. Why? Because it really works. The Floby cuts your hair from a half inch to six inches long. Before the Floby, only a skilled professional could produce a good layered haircut. But now, the Floby ensures a perfect layered haircut with very little skill. In fact, now you can have the same exact haircut time after time. If you would like to Next, we need a haircut. No, don't. That's <laughs> Okay, first of all, the Amish made it. Ooh. Second of all, what the heck is power in it? Do you plug it into your wall? Hence, use an electricity. <laughs> like, the heat surge. Like, is it solar power? It was in the middle of a living room. Like, away from a window. Like, but the Amish made it. To be mesmerized. It's here. It's wild. It's sweeping the nation. It's... reading a blog about that and it's um, an illusion thing and it has like acrylic surrounding this metal and if you drop it on concrete too many times it uh, scuffs up the illusion and it doesn't look as cool so they tell you to practice over carpet so the people are like mm -hmm, I get it now <laughs> that was like the worst acting I've ever seen well, if you can get the idea of what doing eight sit-ups a second would do for your stomach, you have an idea of what rejuvenate would do for your face. music because is that part of the commercial <laughs> because if i saw that on tv i'd be like no <laughs> second of all it's like that movie Happy where the death day. <laughs> it's like the phantom of the opera <laughs> and then those little ball thingies that would bother me it's like electrocute you transistor radio then the head now there's the music band the country. Music Fest is designed to provide you with high quality stereo music wherever you go, whatever the weather. With Music Fest waterproof speaker system, you can enjoy your favorite music, whether you're exercising, riding, golfing, fishing, or just hanging around. Music Fest is both elegant and versatile. Be the leader in your own Order your Music Fest today. I must say, the fact that I survived the 80s, I must be like an amazing person. Like, Headphones and transistor radio. Like, it's that bad. You know what I mean? Not that bad. Like, now you can annoy your, your uh, friends. You wear your coat to school and turn on your radio. How, how fast would that be confiscated? But this is the only coat I'm wearing. Hi, it's Vince with Sham Wow. You'll be saying wow every time you use this towel. And ladies, you always wanted to stick it to your husband. No, you can't. You're gonna love for this. Watch this. All men's Walmart's 
so easy. One finger. I can do it with one finger. You guys can do it with your whole hand. Smooth movers. Call out your winner and put it right in your beans. This 200 round food processor is like a jigsaw puzzle. It's like too bulky. Where the heck are you going to put this thing? Hey, look, it's clicking. I got what you need. Real Mickey from Kenny the Green. You're going to have a new line in just a few days. And for those unwanted guests, take this. Oh, your graphics are sticky. I'm sorry. I can say sham wow. Okay, I have a sham wow. It's not that great. I mean, it work. It's better than a towel. It's not like you can do all that stuff. But that guy, a quickie. I get what you need. I used one and I absolutely hate it. I had to use one to clean the back of um, backstage, and I absolutely hated it. Like it. Like, uh, like, literally everything sticks to it, and it gets dirty, like, really fast. Yeah, you're wringing it out a lot more. And it hurts. It, it, like, not hurts. It's hard to, like, clean. Like, just, like, the towel in general. I hate it. <laughs> <laughs> I absolutely hate that product. All right, well, that's our video, so I hope you enjoyed it. So hit that subscribe button. Bye-bye.